limits of indeterminate quotients. So we are dealing with this in this playlist and we find that when we substitute the limiting value then we get 0 over 0. So let's check it for this one also. So we have cube root of 8 minus 2 over 8 minus 8. Now cube root of 8 is 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So we do get 0 over 0. So this is another example of indeterminate quotients, right? So when we put the limiting value and we get 0 over 0, that means it's a meaningless thing, right? It means, well, x cannot be equal to 8. So the function is not defined at the limiting point, but the limit can still exist because limit is the value which we are approaching, not the value at that point, correct? So now, I will introduce you to another technique, which is substitution of variable. You know, if by substituting 8, we are getting 0 over 0, that means 8 is a factor of numerator, and 8 is also a factor of denominator. So we could have done factoring, but with radicals, factoring is very difficult to do. Substitution of variable is something which you love and see how we do it. So the technique here is substitution of variables. So, so in this blog, I will show you how to substitute a variable and simplify the expression. Now, this radical is cube root of x. So we'll substitute a variable, let's say u, for cube root of x. If cube root of x is u, then x should be u cube, correct? So we can replace this x with u cube. Now, how about this limit? Limit says that when x approaches 8, then what happens to u? Cube root of 8 is 2, so u approaches 2. So these are the substitutions which we'll make in our expression and then simplify it. So let's rewrite. So we can write our expression as limit. Instead of x approaching 8, we can write u approaching 2, of u approaching 2, and cube root of x is substituted by variable u. We have u minus 2 in the numerator and u cube minus 8 in the denominator. Now, so we have a cube minus b cube in the denominator, which can be factored very easily, correct? So that will factor and see what we get. So it is like, you can write again here, we can write this as limit, u approaches 2, and I will write numerator as u minus 2, and denominator as u cube minus 2 cube. Now we'll factor difference of cubes. So it could be written as u minus 2 times u square plus 2u plus 4, right? As you can see, u minus 2 is a factor in denominator also, right? And also in the numerator. Now this can be cancelled, correct? Or u minus 2 divided by u minus 2 is 1. So we can write this expression as limit u approaches 2 of 1 over u square plus 2u plus 4, right? Now, we can substitute 2 and get the limit. So, no need to write limit. We can just substitute the value 2 here. And if we do that, we get 1 over 2 square plus 2 times 2 plus 4, which is 1 over 2 square is 4 plus 4 plus 4. And that is 1 over 12. So our answer is 1 over 12. So we see that 1 over 12 is the limit of this function as x approaches 8. So I hope you appreciate how, with the help of substitution of variables, we could factor the denominator easily and simplify and get our answer. This is a very good technique and we'll do a few questions with this so that you get a hang of it, right? And then you're able to answer most of the questions. Thank you and all the best.